This week I received an email from a dear friend, Thomas Amos, and he wrote, I really appreciated today's petition mission. This is a series uh, that we have on Facebook, verses that encourage us to pray. And he wrote, I thought maybe you'd like a little story of mine that further illustrates it. So let me read the petition mission to you first, and then I'll read his story. It quotes Proverbs 11, verse 25. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. And the comment is, there may be one thing better than praying for prosperity, and that is following God's plan for it. The divine principle of prosperity is simple. You only get to keep what you give away. If you hold on to it for time, you lose it for eternity. I recall the father who gave his boy a half dollar and told him it was his to use as he pleased. Later, when he asked about it, his son told him he'd lent it out. Did you get good security on the loan? His father asked playfully. Yes, sir. I gave it to a poor man who looked hungry. Oh, son, you'll never get that money back. But, replied the little fellow, I have the best security, because the Bible says that whoever gives to the poor lends to the Lord. The father was so pleased with the son's answer that he gave him another 50 cents. Look at that, Dad, responded the son. I told you I'd get it back. I just didn't think it would come to me so soon. So that's the end of the petition mission. And so Thomas comments, adds this story of his own. He says, I went to the Ezekiel Project School of Evangelism in 2005. I went completely on the Lord's provision, which he miraculously provided without me telling anyone of my needs. Four days before I was to start school, he supplied the money I needed for the trip, along with one month's rent and the deposit for an apartment. After the first month, the Lord laid it on the hearts of the leadership at the Albany Gospel Chapel in southern Georgia to support me with $600 per month. My rent was $450, so I lived quite sparsely during that time. My one splurge was Buffalo Wild Wings. Every Tuesday they had a special where you could purchase eight wings for $5. That year I was the only student, so I would go with some of the staff, and he mentioned several of them, including his future wife, and this was a precious time for me because my entire diet was rice, eggs, and Dollar Tree brand spam. And because I greatly valued the fellowship, I was often lonely when class wasn't in session. One Tuesday, we did some outreach in Detroit. On the way back to the school, we stopped at an intersection where a man sat in a wheelchair begging. He rolled up to the vehicle and I gave him a brief presentation of the gospel and a piece of literature. But I also felt the urge to give him some money because I didn't want the message to be hindered by any perception of stinginess. I was sitting in a fine car and I'm sure he thought I had plenty to spare, but all I had left was the money I was saving for that evening's trip to the restaurant. I asked the driver if he had any money but all he had was a quarter. With no small amount of internal resistance, I handed the man my last five dollars. We drove off with me feeling a tad peeved at the Lord, though I felt I had grudgingly done the right thing. I didn't want the group to know I had no money, so I decided to tell them I couldn't come that night. Back in my apartment, I picked up my prepaid flip phone to call them, but it rang before I could make the call. It was my dad. He said, I installed a unit today and made a nice profit, and I thought you could use a little, so I transferred $50 to your checking account. I nearly dropped the phone. In less than two hours, God had given me a tenfold return on that little investment, 
he is truly no man's debtor. But I hope I'll find an even bigger return in glory where there are no wheelchairs. God bless. Thomas Amos. Thanks so much, Brother Thomas, for sending that in and encouraging our hearts with this great principle that the generous soul shall be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself. Mm -hmm.